Hey, welcome back to the Fine Home Building House 2022 here in Prairie Village, Kansas with a Catalyst Pretty Good House. Yes, sir. Today we're doing sub-slab insulation and we chose rock wool because of its vapor open quality. And in this application, you can either use the Comfort Board 110 or the Comfort Board 80. They will both serve the purpose here. With the Comfort Board, we get a high compressive strength. I mean, it's not rated uh, for a structural application, but in terms of us being able to walk around on the product without risk of damage, uh, even at a, a Spelt 220, yeah. you don't really have to worry about leaving a boot print in it, uh, so you don't have to worry about that product uh, being damaged just by foot traffic. Obviously, we're gonna lay out poly over the top of it and then place a rebar on top of it, and there's no risk to the product being damaged in that way. Yeah, and it's dense enough, it's gonna support our concrete in the basement slab application. Some of the things to uh, consider when you're installing rock wool, you wanna wear gloves. If you're inside cutting, you're gonna to wanna to wear a face mask and some safety glasses. We're outside, so we're probably just gonna go with the gloves and long sleeves, partially yeah. because of weather, but also because of uh, just keeping it off you. Um, typical tool would be this saber and a tape. Yeah, pretty basic install. We're laying it down as panels. Basically, the process is gonna go, take the material from outside the hole, put it in the hole, and then arrange it as you would like sheathing a floor system uh, with plywood because we have the four by eight panels of the Comfort Board 80, we can move pretty fast. Yeah. We're gonna be covering 32 feet with every placement. Uh, you're gonna take a tape measure and the knife and cut around corners, plumbing penetrations. We'll get it all done, but the idea is basically that you just wanna make a nice tight cut so that sometimes we even overcut it up to a quarter of an inch so that we can friction fit those panels together. As far as the additional details, we have two levels of finished concrete floor in this basement. One is the main level everywhere, and then we actually have a step and a raised landing, about 200 square feet That's big. at the bottom of the stairs so that we can make the architect happy with the head height. And we're gonna build up multiple layers of comfort board rather than bringing in you know, thousands of pounds of gravel or trying to excavate a little bit different in one spot. That's just a little bit fussy. So by adding the additional insulation, we accomplish additional R value for thermal comfort but also we get that benefit of a much faster finished surface. Yeah, they'll be the most comfortable concrete in the house. No right question. There at the land. 